The Decisive Word Regarding the Ascension of Jesus Part 2 The third verse. Allah says, There is not one of the people of the scripture except that they will believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, before his death after he descends towards the end of time. On the day of judgment, Jesus, peace be upon him, will bear witness against their actions, whether agreeing with the sacred law or not. Anisa 4, 159 Ibn Jarir said, The people who explain the Quran differ concerning the meaning of that, i.e. the aforementioned verse. Some of them say that, Allah's. And there is none of the people of the book but must believe in him before his death. Means before Jesus' death, he directs that to the fact that all of them, people of the book, will believe in him when he descends to kill the Antichrist. At that point, all religions will become one, and that, one, will be the upright religion of Islam, the monotheistic religion of Abraham. A mentioning of those who supported this, position. We were informed by Ibn Bash's Har, we were told by Abdur Rahman, on the authority of Sufyan, on the authority of Abi Hussein, on the authority of Sayyid bin Jubair, on the authority of Ibn Abbas. And there is none of the people of the book but must believe in him before his death. That, he said this means before the death of Jesus, the son of Mary. Al-Afi mentioned nearly the same, narration, on the authority of Ibn Abbas. Abu Malik said regarding Allah's saying, But must believe in him before his death. That is when Jesus, the son of Mary descends, before his death, at that point, no one will remain from the people of the book except that they believe in Jesus. Adahak said, on the authority of Ibn Abbas. And there is none of the people of the book but must believe in him before his death. This, verse, specifically means the Jews, and al husan al-Basri said that the verse meant in Nahashi and his companions. Ibn Abi Hatim narrated both statements. Ibn Jarir said, Yaqub informed me, Abu Raja told us, on the authority of al Hasan. And there is none of the people of the book but must believe in him before his death. This will be before Jesus, peace be upon him, death. I swear, by Allah, Jesus is alive right now with Allah. However, when Jesus descends, they will all believe in him. After narrating the speech of Ibn Jarir, Ibn Kathir said, Ka'a Ada, Abdur Rahman bin Zaid bin Aslam, and others gave similar, sayings. This saying is the truth as we will clarify using decisive evidence, by the will of Allah. In him is the trust, and upon him is the reliance. After Ibn Kathir narrated, on the authority of Ibn Jarir, the saying of those who said, indeed, the pronoun in Allah's saying, before his death, refers to people of the book and not Jesus' peace be upon him. This means that there is not an individual from the people of the book, whether Jew or Christian, except that he will believe in Jesus before the death of that Jew or Christian. The following explanation resembles the previous one. It is the opinion of those who say the verse means every individual from the people of the book will believe in Muhammad before the demise of that individual Jew or Christian. Ibn Kathir said, afterwards, Ibn Jarir said, the most authentic of these explanations is the first one. And that is, the meaning which states, there will not remain an individual from the people of the book, after Jesus' descent, except that he will believe in Jesus before Jesus' death, no doubt. This explanation Ibn Jarir mentioned is correct. It is correct, because the objective of the context, in these verses, is to falsify the claims, of the Jews, about Jesus' murder and crucifixion and, also rebut, ignorant Christians who accepted the Jews' claim. Thus, Allah informed, in these verses, that the affair was not that way, as the Jews claimed. On the contrary, Jesus' likeness was placed upon, an individual. Therefore, the Jews killed the lookalike without realizing it. Allah then raised Jesus to himself, and Jesus is still alive. And Jesus will descend before Judgment Day. An abundantly narrated hadith was used to prove, all of, this which we will mention soon, Allah willing. Jesus will kill the Antichrist, break the cross, kill the swine, and leave off the jizya meaning Jesus will not accept it from the different religions. Rather, Jesus will only accept Islam, it is either that, or the sword. This noble verse informs that all the people of the book will believe in Jesus at that time, and all of them will see him as being truthful. In light of this, fact, Allah says. And there is none of the people of the book but must believe in him before his death. This means before Jesus, peace be upon him, death, the Jews along with those who agree with him from the Christians claim that Jesus was killed and crucified. Allah, then says. 
on the day of judgment, Jesus, peace be upon him, will bear witness against their actions, whether agreeing with the sacred law or not. Anisa 4, 159. This means, Jesus, peace be upon him, will be a witness against them, by their deeds that he observed before being raised to the heavens and, the deeds he will observe them doing, after he descends to earth. Ibn Kathir said, this verse means exactly what we've stated that the context affirms Jesus' presence, his ongoing life in the heavens, and, confirms, that he will descend to earth before judgment day to make liars out of both Jews and Christians whose positions regarding Jesus differ, clash, contradict, and oppose each other and are devoid of truth. Thus, the Jews were negligent, and the Christians were extreme, regarding Jesus. The Jews slighted Jesus and his mother by accusing them of terrible things. The Christians lavished him with praise by making claims regarding him that are not befitting for him. In contrast to the Jews, the Christians raised his status from prophecy to lordship. Allah is exalted, completely free, and sanctified from the sayings of both the Jews and the Christians. There is no deity worthy of worship except him. This concludes Ibn Kathir's statement. Abdullah al gamari said in his book establishing the proofs regarding the descending of Jesus at the end of time. Attention, it has become clear from the evidences we have brought that the possibility of the pronoun in Allah's saying his death, returning back to the people of the book is weak. Also, the possibility of the pronoun in Allah's saying in him, meaning someone other than Jesus, peace be upon him, is erroneous. Weak and erroneous possibilities cannot be used as evidence and cannot be implemented. There is no strength in holding on to something that isn't strong. Therefore, the noble verse serves as evidence and aid to what has already been mentioned, that Jesus is alive and that he will descend. A phrase is sometimes a proof in itself. Other times, a phrase is a proof when supportive material is added to it. Moreover, all likelihoods, or scenarios, extracted, from a phrase cannot make something a proof, contrary to the misgivings of many of those who do not consult the science of fundamental principles. First verse. Allah says in Surah Ali Imran giving glad tidings to Maryam, regarding, Jesus. This child will miraculously speak to people when he is a small baby, as well as when he grows up and becomes a man. He will tell them what is best for them in their religious and worldly affairs. He will also be one of those who are righteous in their words and actions. Ali Imran 3, Ayat 46. Allah says in Surah al maida speaking to Jesus. Remember when Allah addressed Jesus, peace be upon him, and told him to remember Allah's favor to him when he created him without a father. To his mother, Mary, peace be upon her, when he chose her over all the women of her time, and upon him when he strengthened him with Gabriel, peace be upon him. Allah told him that he used to speak to people as a baby, calling them to Allah, and that he used to speak to them in his adulthood, telling them what Allah had sent him with. Q.S. Almighty 5, Ayat 110. Ibn Jarir narrated the following during the explanation of this verse. Ibn Jarir said, I was informed by Yunus, we were informed by Ibn Wahhab, he said, I heard him, i.e., Ibn Zaid, say regarding the Allahs, too, saying, He will speak to the people in the cradle and in maturity. Indeed, Jesus, peace be upon him spoke to them from the cradle, and he will speak to them when he kills the Antichrist at that time he will be a man of mature age. Ibn Jarir also said, I was informed by Yunus, we were informed by Ibn Wahhab, who said Ibn Zayd said regarding Allah saying, I will take you and raise you to myself. Ali Imran, 3, 55. Ibn Zayd said, I will take you, means, I, will, remove you. Ibn Zayd then said, I will take you and raise you are synonymous. Jesus, peace be upon him, will not die until he kills the Antichrist. Thereafter, Jesus will die. Ibn Zayd then read Allah's saying, He will speak to the people in the cradle and in maturity. Ibn Zayd said, Allah raised Jesus, peace be upon him, before he reached complete maturity. And Jesus will descend as a man of mature age. Al-Husayn bin al-Fadl al-Badhali said, Allah's saying, and in maturity means that Jesus, peace be upon him, will be a man of mature age after descending from the heavens, at the end of time. Jesus will speak to the people and kill the Antichrist. Hussein bin Ophanel said, in this verse is a proof that Jesus, peace be upon him, will descend to earth. The lab said, regarding Allah saying, Jesus will descend to earth as a mature man. 
The argument we have cited from Ibn Jarir is the widely accepted position of those who explain the Quran. All of them, commentators of the Quran, explain the verse with Ibn Jarir's argument, and use it as a proof of Jesus, peace be upon him, decent. This is the indisputable truth for the saying of Allah. And in maturity. The Arabic word, which is conjoined with a connected point of time, for example childhood, before it and they are both entering into the same ruling and its estimated meaning is. Jesus, peace be upon him, spoke to people from the cradle as a child and will also speak to them as a mature man. If Jesus' speech immediately after birth, during infancy, was a sign, then it is a must that, that which is conjoined with it, his speech in maturity is also a sign. Otherwise, there would not be a need to use this speech as evidence because adult speech is a common and customary matter. Thus, informing that a man will use adult speech, by itself, is not special, especially informing of this, as a way of giving glad tidings. Therefore, it is a must that what is meant by this news is that his speech is in the period of maturity. The majority of both Hadith specialists and historians believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, was raised at the age of 33 and will remain on earth for 40 years after his descent just as this, fact, comes in an authentic Hadith. It is also said that Jesus' stay on earth is going to be 24 years. Ibn Jarir reported on the authority of Ka'b al with an authentic chain. It was also said that the term of Jesus' stay on earth will be 7 years, which will complete his age of 40. The first choice is correct. The second verse. There is not one of the people of the scripture except that they will believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, before his death after he descends towards the end of time. On the day of judgment, Jesus, peace be upon him, will bear witness against their actions, whether agreeing with the sacred law or not. Anisa 4, 159. We have stated citing Ibn Jarir that the most correct explanation of this verse refers to Jesus peace be upon him as being the pronoun in Allah's saying, before his death. Likewise, we have stated that, when Jesus, peace be upon him, descends. No living individual from the people of the book will remain during that time except that he will believe in Jesus and give him credence. That is because Jesus will discontinue the jizya, and he will only accept Islam otherwise, the sword. So, whoever refuses Islam, Jesus will hasten towards them with the sword. Based on the premise that the pronoun refers to Jesus, this is the correct position, then his descent is a self-evident matter that rejects any doubt. This matter is so, because the people of the book are not going to ascend to the heavens in order to believe in Jesus. However, he is going to descend to earth, just as indisputably authentic narrations explicitly state, which we will mention soon, Allah willing. The third verse. Allah says, Indeed, Jesus is a sign from the major signs of the hour, when he shall descend towards the end of time. So do not doubt the hour's occurrence and follow me in whatever I have brought to you from Allah. This thing I have brought is the straight path in which there is no deviance. Az Zakruf 43, Ayat 61 Abdullah al gamari said in his book, establishing the proofs for the descent of Jesus, peace be upon him, at the end of time, at the discussion of this verse. This means that Jesus is a sign of the last hour. The last hour will be known by Jesus' descent. So, have no doubt about it. The Prophet explained the verse with the same meaning. Ibn Hibban said in his Sahih, in mentioning the proofs that the descent of Jesus, peace be upon him, the son of Mary, is from the signs of the last hour. We were told by Muhammad bin Husan bin Khalil, we were informed by Hassan bin Amr, we were informed by Al Walid bin Muslim. We were informed by Shaban bin Abdur Rahman on the authority of Asim on the authority of Abi Razin on the authority of Abi Yahya, the freed slave of Ibn Afra. On the authority of Ibn Abbas, the authority of the Prophet regarding Allah's saying. And, Jesus, shall be a sign, for the coming of, the hour, of judgment. He said, the descending of Jesus, peace be upon him, the son of Mary, will occur before the day of judgment. This chain is authentic. The narrators are all trustworthy. Asim is from the well-known scholars of recitation. Narrations similar to this hadith of the Prophet also come on the authority of Ibn Abbas, Abi Malik, Al Hasan, Mujahid, Qata'ada, As Sudi, Ad Ibn Zaid, and others. The narrations of these men are transmitted in the tafsir of Ibn Jarir with different chains. All of the narrations candidly state that the verse means that Jesus, peace be upon him, descending will be before the hour. This is the only explanation to be applied. Any other explanation for the verse is impermissible. There are proofs for this, argument.
fiercely, as previously stated, this explanation is authentically reported on the Prophet. Secondly, surely, the context, of the verse, is regarding Jesus, peace be upon him. Read Allah's saying. When the idolaters thought that the Jesus the Christians worshipped was included in the statement of Allah the Exalted? Indeed, you, disbelievers, and what you worship other than Allah are the fire wood of hell. You will be coming to, enter, it, and Allah had prohibited worshipping him just like he had prohibited the worship of idols, your people, O Messenger, began persisting in argument, saying, we are pleased that our idols are of the same status as Jesus. So Allah revealed, refuting them, indeed, those for whom the best, reward, has proceeded from me, they are from it far removed. And they say, are our deities better or is Jesus better? Ibn al-Zabara and others did not draw up this comparison in love of hope in reaching the truth, rather in love of argumentation. They are a nation quarrelsome in nature. Jesus, the son of Mary is nothing but a servant from the servants of Allah whom he favored with messengership and made him an example for the Israelites. They can use him as proof of the power of Allah because he created him without a father, just like he created Adam without parents. O children of Adam, if I wished to destroy you and make the angels succeed you on earth in your place, they would worship me and not describe partners with me at all. Indeed, Jesus is a sign from the major signs of the hour, when he shall descend towards the end of time. So do not doubt the hour's occurrence and follow me in whatever I have brought to you from Allah. This thing I have brought is the straight path in which there is no deviance. az Zakruf, 43, 57-61 Hence, it is not permissible to change the meaning of the speech from its context, to another meaning. Except with proof that makes it mandatory to accept it from evidences that are clearly sent down or a statement from the messenger in which proof can be established just as Ibn Jarir mentioned previously. Thirdly, if the pronoun was to return to other than Jesus, peace be upon him, the way it was said then, that would necessitate weakness or feebleness in the phrase. The eloquence of the wise book is far removed from that. The eminent scholar, Ibn Kathir, said, and Allah said, And, Jesus, shall be a sign, for the coming of, the hour. Ibn Ishaq's explanation, of the verse, has already proceeded. Ibn Ishaq's explanation states that, the verse identifies the things that Jesus, peace be upon him, was sent with reviving the dead, curing the blind and the leper, and other sicknesses as the intended meaning of the pronoun. This is highly questionable. More inaccurate than this, is what Qatada narrated on Al-Hasan al-Basari, Sayyid bin Jubair states that the pronoun in, and verily he, refers to the Quran. On the contrary, the pronoun refers to Jesus, peace be upon him, for he is the subject that the context mentions this is correct. Furthermore, Jesus descend before the last day is the intended meaning by, all of, this. As Allah mentions, And there is none of the people of the book but must believe in him before his death. And Niza, 4, 159. This means before Jesus' death, peace be upon him. Then on the day of judgment, Jesus will be a witness against them. The reading of the, following, verse supports this point. And, Jesus, shall be a sign, for the coming of, the hour, of judgment. This means that Jesus, peace be upon him, exiting is a sign of the last hour before judgment day. The example of this was reported on the authority of Abi Herera, Ibn Abbas, Abi Aliyah, Abi Malik, Ikrema, Al-Hasan, al Ada, ad and others. An indisputably authentic number of narrations, narrated on the Messenger of Allah, report that he informed of Jesus, peace be upon him, descent before judgment day and that Jesus will be a just leader and a fair judge. Now we will cite the authentic narrations regarding Jesus, peace be upon him, descent. Even though all of the narrations are odd, the collective relationship between them makes them indisputably authentic whereas the absolute soundness of the content is guaranteed. So, we say, and success is with Allah.